Hello everybody, Tyler Cruz here from TylerCruz.com. So working online for a living and working from home um, has the issue of, of being distracted. You don't have the boss uh, hovering over your shoulders making sure you're working. Um, you don't have customers or clients coming in. You basically, it's up to you to to make sure that you are spending your time efficiently and aren't being distracted by other things. Now, there are different software out there that actually um, address this by by blocking out software and 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 websites. But I've tried a number of them, and many of them don't really work well. They're either way too easy to to cheat or you know to bypass their their blocking um, or they simply do not work well um, maybe like because I've tried a, dem a number of them and like for example some of them work but they won't block out software and and URLs they will only block out URLs um, but finally I found um, some software a piece of software that works great and I've been using it for whew, probably close to a year now uh, the only reason I waited so long to do the screencast is because they actually had a number of bugs before, and I I wanted to wait until they they squashed out all of the bugs that I had found so that I can now uh, I can now fully endorse and, and promote this software because uh, now it, it it works flawlessly. So the software is called uh, Focus Me. Uh, it, it was rebranded uh, from a previous name which I can't remember right now but it is a it's it's a downloadable you know it's a software that you install on your computer um, I don't believe it's for a Mac although I could be wrong but it's definitely for PC which is what I'm on um, for Windows um, and it has a yearly license so I'll just quickly go over it over here um, basically you if you want to get the software after seeing the screencast you will want the pro version um, and the main reason is because um, it offers everything that the light version does and a few more things but the main the main thing you want is the time limiter that's really what you want because without that it kind of it's kind of pointless you you turn on the block and if you want to go to a website you just turn it off so it it really makes the light version um, pretty pointless in my opinion you you really want the pro version and unless you are a company um, with employees in like a, in the same physical workplace um, you won't need the enterprise version that's the enterprise version basically is you know if you want to run it on um, on, on five computers uh, up to five computers at the same time so the pro version is what I would recommend for most people and it's 40 bucks a year so it's very very affordable okay so that's the pricing and I will show you how it works so uh, so this is it here right now this is this is focus me and it as I said before it, it allows you to block out specific URLs or or um, software applications um, that you specify and you can there's a lot of different um, options here and I won't go through everything because there's so many but I would just kind of go over the main ones so you can see here that uh, I have um, a number of rules set up here um, so some of them are software and some of them are websites so I've got reddit.com blocked I've got the battle net so that I can't play hearthstone um, and then some of these are just um, we're, we're kind of just to test, but I've got the, the Windows Chess game blocked. I've got Steam blocked, so I can't play Dota 2, and then you know CNN, etc. Et and basically, what I did was, um, I, I, and I'll go over this later, but I basically just would, I would use the, uh, well, I guess I'll show you it now. So another feature that Focus Me has is the the time tracker tool, and so this will actually show you. Um, what you are using and what you're spending your time doing so that you can kind of optimize your time better so for example we can see that today um, 
it shows you some some base like how long you've been online and whatnot. It um it shows you what applications you've been running. So I've got Firefox, um, Windows Media Player, Excel, um, and then and then it'll show it also shows you how long you've you've spent on specific websites. So you know I've been on on Gmail for for a lot of long time, um, and then uh, just some other websites here. Um, one feature that I actually requested they implement, and I'm sure they'll do it soon, is to actually add a date range for the time tracking report, so you can actually get a better overview of what you've spent your time on in the past month, for example, or the past two weeks. But anyways, um, what I would do is I would kind of, once in a while, I would check here and I would see what time, how much time I'm wasting on a specific website. So let's say I'm spending a half an hour on CNN um, every day. Well then, so I'm like, okay, that's too much time, and I would add it to my my blocked rules here. So, yeah, so you ha you have your blocked list here, and the way it works is you basically um, you just set the the amount of time that you want to 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 block these things out. So basically, how long you want to force yourself to work, um, and then. And then um, you can set your unlock level as well. So I'll, I'll give you, I'll show you. So that's just for testing sake. Let's just do this for um, for one one minute here, uh, for the sake of the screencast. So we we'll block things out for one minute. Generally, I usually do it for about three hours, uh, two two to three hours when I'm working. Um, and then you set your unlock level. And what this does is, you know, sometimes you you know, even though you do want to focus on working, sometimes you just it's important that you actually be able to access one of these blocked um, uh, a addresses early. Um, like maybe you blocked out, or you, maybe you blocked out um, Gmail, for example. And it's important that you, <coughs> excuse me, it's important that you send out an email right away. Well, there's a way to to do that um, by setting an unlock level. Um, actually, let me change it to two minutes here. So. The best way to, to show you how this works is uh, to, to set it here. So I'm going to set it to five, and so we I'm going to start the application by doing focus. So it's running now, and it runs it in the taskbar here, and it'll show you here. There's one minute remaining in my work my work block, um, but if I wanted to unlock it, if I wanted to quit this early. Uh, all I have to do is enter in these at this uh, the random text that is displayed here, um, I'll, and I'll, I'll do it wrong just so you can see what happens if you do it wrong. You know, it just says incorrect password. So I just have to enter in the the five characters, and once I do, it unlocks it, and I'm free to access these websites again. Um, what's cool is, though is that you can specify your unlock level. So basically. This kind of corresponds to how important it is for you to work, <laughs> um, as well as how um, maybe how often you actually cheat and and try to turn this off. So personally, I set this to 80. Um, you can actually set uh, a custom a custom one, or you can go up to 100 if you want. And actually, so if I do, I'll just show you again how it works here. So uh, if I set it to uh, 12, and we'll just do it again, focus. Mm -hmm. So it's running again. If I wanted to quit it, um, so you can see now there are 12 characters. So all that does is you can still bypass it, but now it's um, it's it's more of a hassle to do so. And you might think twice about about trying to unlock it, um, you know, when you're like, hey, I really should be working type of thing. So... I wouldn't recommend like 12 is kind of it's too easy to quit so I would actually recommend probably about a 60 or 80 um, character um, to quit because that's it, that will kind of keep you um, forced to work because um, the 80 character limit generally takes me about maybe two minutes two minutes of typing to, to bypass so I will just bypass it again here okay um, I'll go over some of the other features here. Uh, I think. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. What one nice? I mean, there, there's so many here that I, I, I guess I, I won't 
Um, but what I will mention is that one one really cool thing about Focus Me, um, unlike many other uh, blocking software, this one actually doesn't edit your host's file. Like most of the others, all the, all of it all it really does is add um, entries for these websites into your host's file, and then you know essentially blocking you out from from visiting them. But all you have to do then is edit your host's file. Um, you know, to, to to access the site again, so it's it's too easy to cheat. But Focus Me does not use that method, um, so that's a, that's a, that's a great plus. Um, another thing Focus Me does is, if you reboot, it will stay running. Um, so if you you know if you need to do like a Windows update and reboot, it'll st it'll keep track of how much time is left and it'll, it'll still keep running. Um, the other thing it does is, and I will run it here with just a level five, so I can unlock it really quick. So it's unlocked; uh, it's it's running right now, and uh, it will actually prevent you from using your system tray. So if I try to use uh, your my task manager, uh, sorry, not system tray, but task manager. So you can't uh, end a process um, by just going to your task manager and, and ending Focus Me. Um, you can't you can't end focus me that way, um, so you're prevented from doing that. Um, let me just uh, get back into it here, and then I guess the the last main thing to show you of it is just to show you that it works. So um, we can see that it's not running now, and so I I am able to go to CNN.com. Uh, we can see at CNN.com though it's fine, right? So I will run it now, and I'll just run it for uh, for 10 minutes here with unlock level five. So it's running now, and we can see if I try to go to CNN.com now, it will automatically close the tab. So CNN.com, it's gone, and you can see here this little message: "Focus me, close the window here." Um, and that's that's true if you go there from any any method. So if I go here from Google, if I go here to you know CNN, and then I try to you know go to CNN, it will close it. There's you you know you can't get around it. Um, and I will show you how it works with with software now. So um, so let's say uh, I wanted to run. Um, uh, Hearthstone here, or well, let's just say uh, uh, Battle.net. So that's one of the software that I have blocked. You can see it just kills it immediately, so you can't access it. Same with um, uh, Dota 2 here. Uh, well, see, there, there you go. So it closed Steam because I have Steam blocked as well. So uh, you know it's not going to let you um, waste your time. You know it, it it really works as as it should. Um, and so this is something I run every single day, multiple times a day. Whenever I'm doing a work session, I always run Focus Me. It's it's it makes me so much more efficient and keeps me on task. Um, it's just you know whatever you spend, wh whatever you find yourself wasting your time on, uh, it will block it and just keep you focused on work. And then when it's done, it's done, it's over, and you can you're f you're free to browse whatever you like and play whatever games you like. So. I highly, highly recommend uh, Focus Me um, if you're working online uh, for a living, um, and especially if you're working at home for a living. You you will be amazed how much more you get done by by using it. So yeah, it's only forty bucks a year, um, so I, I highly recommend it. And there's actually a, a similar program that I use for my my smartphone that is actually free, and it it's basically like Focus Me, but it's for your phone. And I will mention that in my blog post as well. Um, so there you go. Um, I definitely recommend it and hope you try it out. Thanks for watching.